If you are looking for the best winter traction devices, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on winter traction devices in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and the reputation of the manufacturer, and a real customer feedback. If you want to buy a winter traction devices, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. Number one is the Cadillac NA and US bikes. Winter runners require reliable and confidence inspiring grip for moving quickly over slippery terrain, and Cadillac's NA and US bikes are well suited for the job. Despite the name, the NA and US bikes utilize 10 shallow tungsten carbide studs underfoot rather than true spikes, which helps them bite into frozen over pavement and other flat, icy surfaces. To aid in preventing slippage, the TPU toe bay also keeps the toe nicely in place to minimize unwanted play at the front, and the large rubber platform underfoot maximizes contact with the ground. We've worn the NAN Ospikes immediately after freezing rainstorms in the Pacific Northwest, and have been consistently impressed by how well they dig into slick ground. That said, it's important to clarify that the NAN Ospikes are not grippy enough to take into steeper and more unpredictable terrain. They can handle undulating and hilly city streets and sidewalks, but they struggle on rocky and rougher surfaces typical of many trail networks. And while the aforementioned rubber section at the bottom does help with staying connected to the ground, it also means you lose out on some grip and fresh snow. Finally, our pair is starting to show considerable wear, although we've gotten a few solid years of use out of them. All told, the NA and off spikes fall short for more intensive uses like trail running and hiking but they are an excellent choice for dedicated road runners who stick to well-maintained paths and pavement. Moving on to the next and number two with Yak Tracks Walk. The micro spikes above are an excellent performance option for intrepid winter hikers, but the aggressive spikes are overkill for more casual activities like running errands around town or shoveling the driveway. Enter the Yak Tracks's flagship walk snow grips which trade spikes for low-profile steel coils that stretch across the bottom of your shoe or boot. The design is very light at just 4 ounces per pair, easy to get on and off with a stretchy polyelastometer harness, and affordably priced at just $25. Added up, the walk is a great all-around value, even if you only wear them once or twice a season. The biggest trade-offs to the walk's budget-friendly design are lack of versatility and durability. The coils bite decently well into harder surfaces like ice and packed snow and are less prone to clogging up than the micro off spikes above, but they are not built for covering technical terrain or navigating steep slopes. A number of hikers have also reported premature deterioration, particularly along the rubber netting underfoot. Most designs use metal, which gives us pause in recommending them for anything more than light around town and daily use. But buying a few pairs of Yak Tracks will cost you the same as just one pair of Micro Ospikes, which is appealing for casual and occasional users. Three position is held by Cadula Micro Ospikes. For many hikers, the best winter traction devices balance reliable grip, toughness, and compressibility for stuffing away in a pack, and Cadula's Micro Ospikes check all those boxes emphatically. The 12 stainless steel spikes are moderately deep burly enough to withstand regular use and abuse, and offer standout traction on steep and icy terrain. Grip is fantastic while hiking and trail running. We were even able to cross a huge log coated in wet ice below a waterfall with full confidence. And despite a fairly middling weight of just under 12 ounces per pair, the Micker Ospikes pack away quite small and easily disappear into a day pack. That said, there are a few compromises with the Condola's more aggressive design. First and foremost, the crampon-like build is best used in the backcountry and is overkill for a round town wear. Further, the spikes are so sharp that running can be a little scary, especially if you're prone to clipping your inside heel with the other foot on occasion. We tend to do this on longer runs when we're tired. And despite the moderately wide chains connecting the spikes, soft and wet snow still has a tendency to ball up underfoot. We found it pretty easy to stomp off, but it's nevertheless an annoyance and fairly common in sloppy conditions. These gripes aside, the Micker off spikes put it all together better than most, which is what earns them our top billing for the 2022-2023 season. 
For another capable all-rounder with the strap over the forefoot for added stability, check out Hillsound's Trail Crampons. Next at number 4 we have Yaktrax ICEA Trekker's Diamond Grip. We covered Yaktrax's coil-equipped walk device above, but their pricier ICEA Trekker's Diamond Grip uses a slightly different design for better traction over a wider variety of surfaces. In this case, the Yaktrax utilized steel alloy beads strung across steel cables, forming a wide platform made up of hundreds of sharp edges that nicely bite into hard pack and ice. In addition to being a nice option for light winter hikes, we also like the ICEA trackers for everyday uses like shoveling and commuting, and they've proven to be especially helpful for snow-blowing steep driveways. All told, if you're looking for a pair of ice grips, where both daily and light performance use, the Yak Tracks I see a Trekker's Diamond Grip are a versatile and still affordably priced pick. Many Yak Tracks models have been plagued by reports of durability and fit issues over the years, and the I see a Trekker's Diamond Grip is no exception. Specifically, there's no safeguard at the heel or toe to prevent the device from slipping off your shoe, which makes it easy to lose on the trail if you're not paying close attention. The trade off is that they are very quick and simple to put on. Some have also experienced the steel cable breaking, and after just a handful of outings, which seems to be especially probable when walking over trickier terrain like thick ice. To be fair, there are many happy Yaktrax users, ourselves included, but it's important to recognize their limitations and stick to easier hikes and daily use. Finally, the number 5 position is dominated by Kadula K10 Hiking Crampons. Kadula dominates the winter traction category and their K-10 hiking crampons slot in as a purpose-built option for aggressive winter backcountry pursuits like high alpine trekking. The design is essentially a mix between a traditional crampon and standard pair of micro spikes, with an easy-to-adjust binding system that fits over most boots and 10 deep, 3-slash-4-in. Steel spikes including two at the front for digging in the thick ice and pack snow. In addition, you get replaceable neoprene skins to help keep snow build up to a minimum and Kadula's leaf spring flex bar under the foot allows for ample mobility while ascending or descending. If your winter hiking objectives involve crossing ice sheets, low-angle snow fields, or slippery boulder fields, the K-10 is a great tool for the job. However, don't mistake these Kadula spikes for true mountaineering crampons. They're an excellent choice for days when micro spikes aren't enough, but these aren't designed for technical ascents or ice climbing. In particular, the adjustment system including plastic buckles and basic fabric straps is much less robust and won't stand up well to more demanding and vertical alpine pursuits, and it's not built to accommodate mountaineering boots. Automatic crampons have wire toe bales and heel clips for more secure attachment. However, for low to medium grade backcountry ascents that don't quite warrant the use of a true crampon, the K-10 is a lighter and cheaper alternative and a nice compromise. For a more aggressive option from Kadua, their KTS crampons have deeper, one in spikes and a folding heel bale for easier packability but are less of a value at $170. A final alternative to consider is Hillsound's $89 Trail Crampon Pro, although availability is limited at the time of publishing. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We are trying to review products according to the needs of our subscriber. If you want to know briefly about any product then please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.